But uh, I, I wanted to give you something. Uh, I'm a Midwesterner. You're a Midwesterner. You've been very kind to me over the years. And I wanted to get you a little gift. Uh, this is big in Chicago. It's Frango Mints. Frango yeah, Mints. You. Yeah. Frango Mints, when you care to send Frango Mints. Thanks. Thank you. I, I didn't know, you know, usually people bring, uh, you know, pizzas or... What else? What did you... Bo Bone-in pork sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Polish sausage. But in Chicago, we Midwesterns, we like to bring something to the host of the party. <sighs> all right. <laughs> well, I appreciate right? the gesture. Thank you. Did that improv uh, exhaust you, Dan? No, no. I j I'm just I'm moving on. Okay. You know, it's like... <laughs> King of the Segway. <laughs> so what? Do, so what do we know about? So so as improvisers, like we 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 make things up. We go, okay. So God is in the moment, uh, and everything that happened before, and everything that's about to happen, that's the devil. He's gonna fuck you up. God is in the moment. You guys are following me, right? Totally. Just like the last exercise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So in politics, like, we have this right versus left paradigm. So we can recognize Republicans, for instance, as being very out of the moment. They're worried about what happened yesterday and what's about to happen. Democrats, are they really in the moment, or are they just a mirror image of Republicans, improvisationally speaking? They're not, <laughs> they're not really making it up as they go, because they're politicians. So don't we just need a revolution where everybody just like rips off their clothes and runs in the street and goes like well make it up make it up as you go but here's and before you answer that okay uh are, aren't we doomed as a society uh because like don't hasn't the height of what we've been able to adopt democracy and and, and doesn't that by default mean uh mob rule and aren't isn't Aren't most people stupid? And, and, and then, like, so if you're smart and you're liberal, then don't you have to either choose between consorting with a bunch of morons who are like, yay, be liberal, and you're like, yeah, but you're dumb. Um, <laughs> like, and that's, like, kind of the... I see, like, there's a division among the Democrats between, like, the... You know, I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but you got your Bernie, your Bernie people and your, and, your, and your traditional Democrats and stuff, and there's, like, a real heavy division between folks because they're like, yeah, we don't want fucking more corruption and all this stuff, and, and it's like, like, yeah, but if you don't... Uh, it's fucking... Yeah, don't even get excited, sir. I... I <laughs> I I even, was I, I, I it's, it's just like you just feel like this like wedge it's like right now it's like so fun watching the bad guys be in power and watching them kind of fumble over themselves but then you feel this dark cloud in the horizon where it's like we're supposed to the next move is we're supposed to all agree on something and do something together and we can't get our shit together we're gonna start like arguing with each other really soon we're already doing it what was my point like <laughs> how do we isn't there a way to like uh, what are we going to do? Why, why shouldn't I just kill myself? <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. <laughs> Only you are stopping you. Dan, if you did kill yourself, right? Well, 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 how would you do it? <laughs> I mean, I would it be in front of a large crowd? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At like a comedy festival? I feel festival? like I'd do a major podcast and keep talking about how I hadn't gotten my gun yet. <laughs> and then I'd announce that I had gotten my gun. <laughs> and I'd pick, a, I'd pick an obscure town. Okay, give me an example. A hard-working town, but I'd maximize the number of people. Okay, blue state, red I'd state. I'd want to push like a thousand people. Okay. Somewhere around my hometown. Okay. And then I'd just pull out a gun, just blow my brains out, on say, no, I... I, I <laughs> I do feel I do feel like I'm a gun, I, like I'm a I, I'd blow my brains out I think. Okay. Now is <laughs> because I feel like pills like if you took like a bottle of Tylenol you'd be like I feel like you'd be like ow my kidney and, the, and then you'd be like I, ow my kidney hurts I changed my mind I changed my mind I don't killing myself hurts and then you'd be like well, yeah but your kidneys are shut down and I think like, you mean your okay. liver. What? I think you yes, mean your liver. Yes, we heard you liver, sir. <laughs> liver. Too many people talking over each other. Everyone knows kidneys don't filter out a damn thing. <laughs> okay. I five, just want to ask other. you this. I want to play to the audience on this one. Really common here in Chicago is people will jump in front of the L to take their life. Really? Yeah. Would you do something like that? No, absolutely. Why no, not? No. Because too dramatic, too macho. <laughs> 
too fucking like, I don't know, just too. So you want to go out quietly with a gun? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just don't think, I just don't, I, I, I uh, the, the thing about uh, jumping in front of a train, right? Too athletic. Okay. That's what it is. <laughs> I'll, I'll, it up. I'll tell you what always pisses me off about it is the people that do it do it during rush hour. Right. right. Yeah. And that really inconveniences. Just Why ruins everyone's it day. Where it's not going to affect. That's as many the other people. thing is I don't want to fuck other people's days up. Like I don't want to do that. I, w- I would if I was going to blow my brains out. By the way, I would also I would coat my bathroom in Saran wrap. <laughs> So, so I, I would, I would, and I would like write the nicest note, like for my housekeeper. I'd be like, "I am so sorry. Like, don't go upstairs. Call nine one one. There's a mess up there, but you can just undo the masking tape and just seal it all up. Put me in the blue bin and just be done with it. Like, and so here's, you don't here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a box of toys for your kid. You don't want anyone inconvenienced or distracted Absolutely by not, your death. No, I would not Does want. Does that include it. your family? Of course, yeah. Okay, well, see, I think the absence of you and the fact that you feel such a failure that they would feel that maybe they failed you and they would God, I wish I could bring any of my family out right now and prove you so wrong. <laughs> no, I don't think any of them would be... They wouldn't care. They wouldn't, they wouldn't care. No, they'd be like, oh, uh, I get it. <laughs> you beat us to it, Dan. Yeah, they'd be like, I saw that coming. I get it. We're so proud of him. He was would, our little guy. Would they say, like, they... He sh- <laughs> We thought he did it. He should have done it sooner. Is no, that, they'd okay. be like, I figured that was going to happen. Okay. You know, and they and they and they'd be like, well, I, you know, I'm next, but uh, it's going to be with like, uh, I'm going to get uh, diabetes or something. Did your parents lay suicide out as an option? No, when you were young? no, okay. no. It's just like I'm the writer. I'm the writer in the family. And they'd be like, uh, they'd be like, well, he's the writer. He 44 years. That's good. Good for him. I got one more question, Dan. Who do you want to find you? <laughs> and that could be someone in this audience tonight. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers no, are cold bloody. <laughs> I would want it to be like a technician or something. I'd okay, want someone be, you don't know, you yeah. don't owe anything to. I don't want anybody a stranger. unduly. That would be okay, part so, of the whole so, so we find you, and then what? What do we learn about you from your suicide? What? You mean what would I put in the note well, once I'm finally gone? Yeah, let's okay. start with the note. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we just write my note right Let's now? Let's do it right. Okay, great. We'll, right. we'll, we'll help you. Yeah. We'll help you, Dan. Because okay. it's hard. It's hard. I know it's hard. Dear world. Okay. Uh, so sorry. They will play this when you're dead, by the way. Go ahead. Right. Uh, you, you don't want to put them in his head while he's writing. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I guess you saw what I saw. Things are getting hard. Like, don't take this as, uh, as encouragement to do what I did. I had a good life. Woo! Uh, <laughs> like, I didn't have to fight in any wars. I never had to be hungry. Like, I wasn't a black woman. Uh, but Dan, can I, I just stop kinda, right now? Yeah. I'm getting the sense. Some of the best lives on the planet. I I'm just remind you, Beyonce I... is kicking it right about now. Well, I wasn't <laughs> Beyonce is obvious. I think that's the unspoken part of the La- What you don't know is that a lot of black women can do the same shit as Beyonce. We just ain't showing off. <laughs> you want to come back as a black woman. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, a even black Even in my woman. suicide note, I'm, I'm persecuted. Well, no, but <laughs> if I read that... <laughs> I can't get a break. No, no, no. No, no, I want to help you. I mean, it's funny how, you know, the improvisers are helping the writer. Here. Right. But uh, as, as I was going through the note, I'm like, that guy would never commit suicide. It sounds like you're trying to talk yourself out of it. Yes. I was never in a war. I had a good life. Right. Yeah. Right. No, you're right. And I, I have no plans to kill myself, by the way. Mm, you're sure? <laughs> I mean, you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is what friends do. We help out. So how does the note go from there? You say a bunch of positive things. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. Your it's got to turn. I say, I say, everybody, you're off the hook. Please, I'm so sorry for the mess. Like, I wish that I could have just jumped into a vaporizer or a sarlacc pit. I'm so sorry. Like, if you're for those of you who found it and all this stuff, I'm so sorry. And then I'd say, you know, I think our species is plagued with a notion that we are not good enough and I think it provokes us to do things that hurt ourselves and each other and I think that once you get to the spot that I'm in go ahead I think you gotta personalize you can't speak of the whole world you know well, I already the whole said world. my personal shit I thought that you said you- I have a great life but the world sucks so I'm gonna kill myself 
everybody else is is acting like human beings. So well, yeah, I'm life. not gonna wait for my life to. I, yeah, if I wait for my life to suck, I'll never kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to go out on a high like the Carol Burnett show? Yeah, like I well, I mean, like what, it's 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 no big trick to have a comfortable life. You it is for some. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I want to kill myself. So you feel responsibility for the people who are not as successful as you? Yeah, it's hard. Like well, they're not as lucky. But you, it's not reading in your note right now. <laughs> I'm not getting that. Are you, Scott? Well, I'm just well, curious. You have okay. regret for being successful. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, you can stop that right now. Yeah. Wait, by, well, instead of the suicide, I just give all my money away and then wander no. around the street. Yeah, you can, you can stop being successful anytime you want. But you want to work hard and be successful and get praise and have a thousand people cheer you. No, I don't want... I don't... That sounded or, like about 500, 300 people. <laughs> That was really About fainted. 200. Well, yeah. <laughs> a percentage of a thousand people cheer you. In their defense, 500 of them want to kill themselves. So <laughs> look at you clap. Yes. All right. Well, let me start my note over. Okay. <sighs> Kids. <laughs> uh, it's not going to get any better. Uh, the writing's on the wall. Uh, from where I was sitting, uh, next thing that happens is your knee starts to ache, and then it just it gets it gets harder and harder. I'm leaving soon. Uh, now, after I finish the letter, <laughs> I, I, I unless there's another draft. <laughs> I, uh, I, I can't, it's hard, it's hard to be on Twitter, uh, what? you guys, you what? guys, you guys, another Twitter related death, yeah. yeah, you guys seem unhappy, uh, there's not enough gra gravy, but see, don't you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna interrupt your note for a second, right, <laughs> You guys are unhappy, so I'm going to kill myself. Right. Okay. I understand the empathy you have. I'm leaving all but my you have, money but in no, a no, box. You, you remember okay. Stardust Memories? Right. No. Well, kind of. Yeah. Okay. So he's suicidal, and he says, why don't I just kill myself? And he says that the alien, all-knowing person says to Woody, uh, you're, you know, you're not Superman. You're a comedian. You want to save the world? Tell funnier jokes. Right. You delight people. Right, but... You think people are unhappy, and your job, your delight, is to delight them. So you're making the world better. The world you're complaining about, you're fixing. And so then you take yourself out of it? Yeah, but what about all the people that say, don't, you should go back to work writing cartoons instead of talking about how... <laughs> dumb the president is and then you're like well I don't want to write what am I supposed to write a cartoon They're about 13 years old <laughs> not physically <laughs> but wait how did we get it I never said when did I you oh. said the world is unhappy so I'm going to kill myself I guess yeah. I maybe technically said that <laughs> You have an existential crisis. Yeah. But you're intelligent enough to think past an existential crisis. I guess it's, that's what it is, is that we are at a point in, uh, politically, like we've gotten to a point, like, like it was easy in the Bush years and the, all the shit with the dangling chads and all that crap. It was very easy to just be like a Han Solo and be like, oh, I have no love for the Empire, but I love to s fucking smuggle. Um... <laughs> It, it, as of the election, it was like, are you fucking kidding me? You're either in favor of the mass enslavement of all humanity and absolute fucking apocalypse, or you're part of some rebellion that has to spend its life, like, flying in X-Wings and doing, like, horrible runs and stuff, and it's like, woe be to the, to the rich, white, lazy piece of shit, you know? Like, you're just like, well, where am I supposed to fit in? I don't want to earn my bread and butter. I don't, I don't want to find out what I'm made of it's just a drag i'd rather be a martyr and just be dead i think that's what it is like i don't want to you're not I don't a martyr have it, if you take your own life you well, have to someone has I to take you, your life i could make it look like an accident <laughs> <laughs> all right how would that look okay. how would you do it i could i could i could have some friends over and i could have like a roller skate party 
and I could rent a five-story tower. Okay. And have a roller skate party. Okay. Trigger and then warning. I could just get really drunk and nah, come on. All right. We're, we're no, we were getting somewhere. I liked what we were doing, but uh, you know, no, I'm not. You're right. What you're saying is that uh, I'm a fat, white, straight. I never said fat or straight. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was me. <laughs> You're saying that my responsibility, it's, a, it's like moving forward, you have to live in the fucking apocalypse. You can't dramatize it so much that you can avoid living in it. You actually have to be a character in it. You have to like go, okay, so this is the way the world is. It's not normal. It's not good, but I'm in it. You can't be, you, you, it, there's, there's, it's no country for old narcissists. <laughs> and it's, it's what uh, women and black people do every fucking day. <laughs> I don't believe there's that many women and black people out there. Scott. Some of you are trying Scott, to get on a gravy train. what was the point you were trying to make to Dan? When? <laughs> when you were saying to him about, okay, you're, you, know, you, you do comedy, you make people's lives better. Yeah, well, he was, he was saying that the world is unhappy, and he's one of the reasons some of us aren't. A part of it, anyway. I don't know. Yeah, well, no, it was, it was just like, I think it's like, it's defeatism. That's what we. That's what we ended up addressing. It's like mm-hmm. we, a lot of people out there probably feel that way. Like you wake up in the morning and you're like, "Holy fuck! How could it be so bad? Like, like, and and how come I can't do anything about it? You can. And, uh, you like, can. And then, yeah. and then you, if you react to that with like, "Oh fuck! I'm gonna like just you know, give up or go cynical." You know, that's because you're like, "Well, the alternative is you have to like do shit that's like uncomfortable. You gotta strain your back." But at least enjoy being cynical about everything. You can, you can enjoy that. Yeah. It was easier before to be <laughs> cynical. You can't be cynical now. It's harder to be cynical now. What happens if you're... I'm still cynical. If you're cynical now, then you're like one of these like uh, libertarian people that's like this... An Asperger Trump voter. <laughs> you're like one of these Silicon Valley people that's like... Meet Moop. Logic says no Hillary because her emails. Like It's like... <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm, I don't want. I'm not gonna be one of those people. I'm not gonna be like meep moop. Logic says be a fucking Nazi. Like I'm not doing it. You could be a Schindler. You could use your ring to buy like 800 to Jews. I would like to be a Schindler. You could be a Schindler. Well, There's a lot of. This is a great opportunity for all of us to be heroes. Let's all because be it's so very bad. You, even the small amount of shit you do. What did? <laughs> what did Schindler do again? Schindler. Not enough. He didn't do enough. <laughs> <laughs> he could have done more yep. in his defense that was a sweet fucking ring it was a beautiful ring <laughs> I see like I see like young black women like millennial black women on twitter who Where? are like 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 going like trying to rally like the democratic cause and then they're like up against like this thing that's like you can't even you can't dismiss it like we got behind hillary and she lost and so there's like this thing that's like we're looking down the barrel of this thing or it's like don't look at your watch i have a show at 10 <laughs> it's like we're, we're gonna go up against this thing like there's just this cloud like you gotta be on the other side of the cloud and like, but we can't get along with each other. Like we're like, there's like genuine socialists and I, I, I see everything that they're saying. They're like, yeah, fucking like, why do we keep mitigating our language about this? Why do we keep playing ball? Why are we acting like politicians when it's not going to work? We're in a political debate with professional politicians. Why don't we just revolt and resist and have resistance mean something and be socialists and leftists? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so you have to is, that's thirty percent of our nine hundred audience, and then there's the other people that are just like, "Fuck, they, man, they no, we got to get behind one boulder and push it, otherwise the boulder's not going to go anywhere because it's up, it's up against another boulder. It's like all the evil people they have no problem getting along because they all agree that they should just lie and hang out, like like." <laughs> So everybody, so then those people equally sensible to me are like, no, let's be Democrats because how else are we going to win? You got to, if you don't like Pepsi, if Pepsi's owned by Hitler, guess what? You love Coke. (laughs) And I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate fucking being forced to drink Coke just because Pepsi's Hitler. It fucking sucks. (laughs) But what are you going to do? Be Sierra Mist and have no one drink you ever? (laughs) Just to spite corn syrup? 
I don't know what to do, so I want to kill myself. Because I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a passive party to it. I, I, I just want to go, just go quietly into my mansion and just let, write a little note and then say, "Hope you like season three. We better. <laughs> I mean, what do you do, Jimmy Corain? I don't yes, mean to Jimmy. I don't, I, I, I don't mean to say your last name like yeah. like an attack. What do you do, Jimmy Corain? What do you do? What do you do? Who did you vote for? Put your dick out. Tell us. Stop interviewing people like you do on your podcast. Hot, uh, your top rated well, fair I, audio I, podcast. Yeah, yeah improv nerd. nerd. Yeah, thanks for the plug, Dan. Now you're welcome, yeah. you piece of shit. <laughs> Tell us who you are. Scott Adson, season six of Veep. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Johnson, I'm selling stolen coats in the alleyway. <laughs> Dan? Yeah. What would you like to know? I'd like to. I'd like to really? know. Really? I, I feel. What, well, well, well who'd you vote for? I voted in the primary. I voted for Bernie Sanders. And then. And then I had huge resentment towards uh, the Democratic Party because I didn't like how they traded, t- treated Bernie Sanders, and I didn't vote. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> I mean, well, respect his bravery. He yeah. knew that that wasn't going to be a like, for your fun thing to say out loud. It's time to open up a can of privilege. <laughs> <laughs> I needed you. <laughs> I needed you. White people, we trusted you. <laughs> fucking up with that Iraq war. And then we let you run around and this is what you fucking do. <laughs> well, we taking that shit back. We taking it back. The next candidate we run is gonna be a black burn victim <laughs> who's in a wheelchair just to send you a message. God damn it. You don't know what to do because you never had to fight. You shouldn't be fighting right now because we shouldn't be this far gone. But now that we are, that's what you do. You get involved. God damn it. <laughs> Is there is there a connection you think between Jimmy not voting in the, in the election and Dan wanting to kill himself? Like it's both these two people that didn't get their way and kind of don't want to do what they think is the hard work they need to do, and just kind of having a little tantrum. Or, no offense. Yes, I mean obviously no, none taken. I mean some taken, but. I, 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 but isn't there similarness there? I mean, it seems like it might just be. I mean, uh, last week we talked about white fragility, but it's, fragility. Yeah. No offense, Jimmy. I, 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 I thank you so much for your honesty. By the way, this is a very great discussion to have. But uh, I don't know. It's just it, it's it's this thing, you know, right? The people who aren't used to dealing with uh, adversity, they deal with adversity, and they kind of don't know how to deal with it because they're not, you know, conditioned to do it like uh, underprivileged people tend to be. Well, and the thing is, Dan, you still have hope for the Democratic Party. I've totally, like, I feel betrayed by the Democratic Party, and I feel like both parties, like, are taking corporate money. Yeah. Right. And I'm totally hopeless about that. Yeah. And I was never, I, I, I was never, this is like my entree into politics, because I was like, I always looked at the bipartisan system as being part of one big fucking Pringles sham, where it was like, oh, who do you like, ranch or cool ranch? Um... <laughs> And then we elected a fucking legit Nazi, and I was like, holy shit, how do we fight this? And I started, like, analyzing it. It was like, wait, you can't be in the resistance and also be surrounded by hip people all the time. Like, you're going to sometimes be around morons if you represent the interest of a majority of people uh, because most people are stupid. But if, you, if you're on the side that the rebellion's on in the Star Wars universe, it's like, yeah, there's a guy. His head's this is fat like a, wing, X-wing guys who you wanted to die. It's like it's like you got to just go. Oh, the galaxy's made up of a bunch of different people, and like like who knows? Well, the slugs get along with the lobsters or whatever the fuck. Who cares? But I know I don't want to be fucking Christopher Lee, like pinching people's necks shut just because they don't look, they don't dress like a Girl Scout. Like I, I like I don't I don't side with the Death Star. Period. How about we like, don't judge the people we're trying to help? What's that? 
we don't judge the people we're trying to help. Well, you can't. Yeah, you can't be like a populist. You can't. You can't like go like, oh, I believe that every but that a society should be judged by the quality of life of its less least fortunate people, and then simultaneously be like, that dude smells like a shoe. Um, you can. You can give a homeless dude a dollar and still say he smells like piss, and you don't want him to sit on your couch. Yeah. But at least go the step of giving the motherfucker a dollar. It's just I. Th I think that guys like me and Jimmy like we're we're, we're taught we're like we're used to that stuff but we're not used to like the laser line dividing like it's that it's that that laser line that divides the bernie crap from the hillary crap or whatever like we had it easy i except that i did not vote i vote i like i Who'd was you vote for? i was i was behind bernie and hoped that bernie would like i was like go go bernie and i stayed out of it because of the gender thing because i did not want to like I, I was like, this is trouble. This is a hot button, and we do we, the last thing we need is divisiveness right, right now. And then once she had secured the nomination, I was like, fucking, all right, full steam ahead. Let's all vote for her because she's a Democrat, and we need to defeat these Nazis. So, but, but. But, you know, and it's just, that's stinking thinking to 30% of you who, who, who cheered for the other thing. And I don't want those people dismissed because they're smart people. Uh, but, but, but like, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I was at. You know, I, but the truth be told, I, I didn't show up for no primary vote because I was, I was like, this whole system's a piece of shit. What am I, fuck your primaries. This is a bipartisan system. These people built a fucking government on top of our constitution. Fuck these assholes. Like, like it's garbage. Like, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them in the eye. But, God damn it! There's a fucking like one of one half of them has been hacked. The half of the fucked up system has been hacked by a cancer, by a virus. They've moved in. White nationalists, actual Nazis, possibly Russian spies. Don't even go there. Just forget all the Russia Gate. They're just white nationalists. They hacked the Republican Party. Uh, the, our dream that the bipartisan system, which has been shoved down our throat since we were born like would collapse that dream came true in a way that maybe is not as convenient for us as we thought it would be like that was starting with the republicans going like oh fuck it hitler's running okay well as long as he's wearing a red hat um <laughs> that represented the end of the republican party like if we live through this i don't know how you're gonna uh, you know the republicans could be fucking dead and that's a great thing on the other side <laughs> The Democrats are also got hacked in the sense that there was a socialist running on the Democratic ticket. And like when I when my first vote was for uh, Ross Perot, I was 18 years old and I was like, "Fucking like, let's do it!" Um, and and he was a third party candidate, and third party candidates can't win and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm off on a tangent and just saying like. I'm 44. I was like, 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 okay, Democrat. We're Democrat then because we have to get this done. But I am sick and tired of being told by this system that we're in a state of fucking emergency the entire time. When are we ever going to achieve this, this unachievable dream where we're voting our conscience? And I know that that speaks to privilege. I do. I, I, I know, I know how silly that sounds to a Democrat. Just me. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that, that's the thing is that like, like, like black women are the ones that are turning me. Like when I look at them on Twitter, I'm like, they're the ones that are putting up with the most shit. They're the ones that, you know, it's, and it's, it, I, I'm not spe like, I'm just like, I'm looking at, I think the Statue of Liberty now is just like a black woman, a black millennial woman who is like, fuck it. I've been hurt. I don't give a fuck. I still believe in some form of some system. I have every reason to self-destruct, but I'm just going to be a Democrat and I'm just going to push this boulder and we're going to push it and like I look at them as being heroes right now because they're not being treated very like like people are just coming you know they have to deal with the meat meat moop moops like, like it's just dudes coming out and going like no no sure, that's interesting what about the drone strikes what about the emails and like <laughs> I love that a black woman come home from work is like man it got there meat 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 moop <laughs> fucking with me I'm trying to buy some groceries and this motherfucking meat 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 moop tell me I need a coupon I don't know meet, what to meet. do, Jimmy Crane. I don't know what to do. I don't know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed the to. The first thing locally. you should do is ask another white person <laughs> about how to lead you out of some treacherous moments. <laughs> I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> I said, oh, and, 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 and I don't have to. Left. <laughs> Turn his mic off. Turn his mic off. <laughs>